So, we decided we were going to do an episode this week where we just look up like crazy ass news stories and talk about those. So, or funny. Or funny. And they might not be current. Um, I'm not sure. We try not to do too much current stuff because we don't live close to each other. So we just like link up once a month and film as much as we can. So these are not like current events or they might be current. But by the time this is Gets out, posted. it won't be current. So just who cares? That's why it doesn't matter. So just do it. Just watch it. Um, so I found one that's about a biotech company in Arizona that's offering you money for poop. So I did that. So you get um, 25 to $75 per sample, and you could earn up to $1,500 a month to send in your poop. I only poop like once a day, twice on a good day. But That's I'm saying 50 bucks a day. 50 bucks a poop, and then up to $1,500. I would... I'd do it. You would poop... So, okay, poop twice a day, every day for 30 month. days. 50 bucks a poop. Maybe 75. How do they, how do you know if you have a $25 poop or a $75 poop? Probably the amount and the... Like what you eat. Consistency. Yeah, like if you're a vegan, I bet you have $75 poop. Spencer's going to watch this episode and throw up. Spencer doesn't like poop? That's $3,000 though, you so can't, you can't. You can't earn that. So poop once a day. Send one poop a day and then you're good. You would poop in a cup? Yeah. What if it's twenty five and not fifty? What if it's twenty? I mean, it also is going to depend on where I have to drop it off. How far away is huh. it from my house? Oh, okay. That's worth it. What if know? you send it? What if you mail it out? That poor mail lady. Yeah. Then yeah. What kind of package do you mail your poop in? Like a biohazard, like it have to probably be in a sealed taped container inside. Yeah, a yeah, box yeah. Obviously, the company a... is going to send you like the the orig- the initial like tube to put your poop in. But when you go to package that tube, what are you getting? A padded envelope? Assume assume the tube is like this, like a like the this. I probably water put it in envelope. a box. What do you put probably in? have a to box? put it in a box because of weight, I would imagine. I'd want to. I feel like a box is not enough to then put that poop in the in the mail for someone else to have to deal with. For that long a time, who knows how long it's going to be in the mail? It'd probably would be in a cooler. You could buy little briefcases. And lock it up. <laughs> Little metal saves. It's like the, the price is right. You s- I mean, not the price is right. Deal or no deal. Deal or no deal. Poop. Poop or no poop. Seventy-five dollar poop or twenty-five dollar poop. Open the box, know? Greg. Seventy-five dollar poop. So if you had seventy-five dollar poops, how much do you think your poop is worth? <laughs> Honestly, think about your diet. Think about your frequency. And then look inside and tell me how much between twenty five and seventy five. Where are you falling? Where's your poop? I think I'm gonna be at the fifty mark. You're at the fifty. Not mark. great. That's safe. Not terrible. That's safe. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Fifty five. I'm gonna say that I have sixty dollar poop, and I'm fine with that. Yeah, it depends on you know like what are they looking for. I don't eat bad. If they want to find irregular things. Because what if they want the, you to eat weird shit and right to see out? how what happens to your body? Okay, so what's the weirdest shit you would eat for a seventy five dollar poop? If they were like, I need you to eat flaming hot Cheetos for a month every day, you would be shitting lava blood <laughs> into that. I would not do that. Hot Cheetos every day, one bag, one not the little, not like the the fifty cent bag, but like the personal, like the one mm-hmm. above that, one of those a day, every day. Because they need to see what flame counts are doing to your insides. Are you doing it? 75 bucks a poop. Yeah. Yeah? That's good. You like flaming hot? You think they're spicy? I never really. You've never had like a flaming smell. hot? You've never had a flaming hot? I don't hot think so. Of Maybe any one. variety? I'm sure I have at the Sab's house. Penny used to digest those by the barrel. I don't know if we can be friends anymore. David with the dills. David loved dill pickle chips. And Frito cheese sauce. Yeah. It was good though when you're high. I never ate any real food ever for like two years straight. It was either fast food. I used to come home so baked and eat a whole roll of Ritz crackers and love every second of it. Just. Club crackers? Club crackers. Mess me up. So good. Best crackers. Let's get into crackers. Club crackers are the best crackers? In yeah. In your opinion? Yep. 
They're what buttery, about? they're salty. They're buttery. They're, they're flaky, salty. crispy. Um, I like Cheez-Its. Cheez-Its, yes. Cheez-Its bags. Yes, 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 yes. Um, I think Ritz crackers are really good. Ritz crackers, I like the... Ritz like, crackers are super good. If I'm putting crackers in my soup, though, it's going to be saltine crackers. Saltine crackers are good when you have an upset tummy. And they are good in soup. What kind of soup? Every soup? Any soup. Any soup, all soup. Nope. I want bread in my soup. Not in my soup. I want bread with my soup. With your soup. That brown bread. It smells so good. I eat, put so many crackers in my soup that it's no longer soup and more of like a paste. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like paste. I don't like that word. Remember paste? Did you Casserole. have paste in school? Were you young enough or old enough for that? I had paste. Maybe in kindergarten. We had paste. I remember paste. When you'd eat it, <laughs> then people eat paste. It smelled good or something. Adam Sandler ate it. And Adam Sandler is not the goal for anything except for fashion. I aspire to dress like Adam Sandler every day of my life. Okay. Minnesota deputies reel in woman stranded on waterborne unicorn. No oh, floaty. Giant floaties. Okay. This is not the first story of that that I've heard what of. What kind of body of water is she in? Probably, you know, it's always in like an ocean or lake, Where Michigan. Fish? Where at? Minnesota. Where's that? Minnesota is. Uh, be like right one of the lake Michigan's. I've never met anybody from Minnesota. So one of the Great Lakes. Oh, it's on Lake Superior. Okay, so this lady is taking this unicorn out to Lake Superior. Those are for like pools or like a small pond or lake. Or a lake that you can see to the other side of. Minneapolis. Not a giant body of water. And no paddle. How horrifying it would be to be on. So horrifying. You're not lake even on Superior a boat. You're not a fucking unicorn. You're not even on a boat. And at one point, you're going to get to a spot where you can't see land. <laughs> and that would be just. Stop taking inflatable unicorns. Inflatable. Inflatable. Unicorns, inflatable flotation devices. How old was she? Um, doesn't. Was that her in the picture? Or is that was just a picture of a girl with a unicorn? I don't know, but it says woman. Uh, do, 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 do. Was she hammered? Stuck in the middle of the lake. I hope she was hammered and panicking. Of a pool float. Pulled him in. After stifling a few laughs, the officers threw them a rope and pulled them ashore. A few laughs? That's what they get. <laughs> Idiot. Those pool floats really need to come with a warning label. No, they do not. That's so funny. Good joke, cop. Good joke. I said good joke. Good joke, coop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but big inflatables. Don't take them out. Why are you doing that? What are you, dumb? What are you doing? Are you stupid or something? Did you even have a paddle on that big lake? What was a paddle going to do in Lake fucking Superior? Nothing. <sighs> Give you a little hope. No. Stupid. The lady's a dumbass. Um, this isn't a crazy story, but it is nine of the weirdest things that people believe about sex. Like, so I guess they did, um... You know what? When I see stuff like this... I'm like, I've literally never been approached ever in my life for any kind of, like, quiz. Like, Family Feud, y'all been making episodes for seven million years. There's, I've never been asked. I've never Not been asked. Once. So, like, who are they asking? They're always like, we surveyed a group of people. They who? email, probably. Oh, spam folder people. Mm -hmm. Okay, so these are the nine weirdest things that people believe about sex. I don't know who believes this. I don't know where they're finding these people, but here they are. Um, one is that pubes are a deformity. <laughs> I, I don't know about that how do you even talk to that many people that are like so embarrassed about their pubes that they don't talk or tell anybody that they have them so they're yeah. like it must be a deformity so everybody that believes this also thinks that they're a mutant like there's hair growing out of my hoo-ha something's Boy, wrong yeah. with me something has gotta be wrong um the number two one is that periods only happen once that it's a one-time thing and then it never which would be lovely okay if we can make this happen somehow I'm gonna rip my uterus out right now. Um, 
People believe that they invented masturbation. Like, they touch themselves. And they they think they're the first one. Nobody knows about this. That's because people don't talk about it. No we one talk talks about it. about it. You don't have to go into detail about your own, but you can at least let people know. Like, it's hey. okay. Yeah. Get crazy with great. yourself. Um, that masturbation is solely watching porn and not actually doing anything. Just watching? Yeah, just no. No. So that's not right. False. <laughs> not true. Um, they even watch porn all the time. Sex is just grinding. That there's no... Like air. There's no penetration. Yeah, just humping. Which is fine. For a while, maybe. Um, that the term blowjob is literal. I wonder how many people... So that's not how you do it, guys. And, Don't do um, that. It's not right. It's not how you do it. That you can't have an erection and not have sex. Like if you have an erection, it stays there until you have until sex. it's gone. Until you do so- have a sex. have sex. I don't like. There would be a lot of ma- so teenagers walking around just fucking everywhere. <laughs> everywhere. So I have a question. If you so I know boys like in middle school and like during puberty and shit, you guys are just like bonered up all the time mm, over anything and everything. So do you feel like you wanna like? Are you like? Oh, I wish I could release this. Or are you just like I have a boner again? I mean, probably at that age, it's a lot more like wish I could release this because it's like new and fun. So what I'm saying is, what percentage of boys in middle school are going into the bathroom to jerk? It. Oh, does I can't imagine a bun. I'm sure do it think? does, but I, that's you gotta. Because I feel like I feel like it's more of a. If you're in a public, if you were in a public situation, it was like, oh shit, oh shit, how do I get rid of this before I have to stand up? No, well, okay, so like I watched. But I'm not of- about to go into the hallway bathroom and. Jerk it, you don't think? Off. I'm sure there. I'm sure people did. Well, I feel like I watch a lot of male stand-up comedians, and there's all there's so many jokes about like when you're that age and you can't control yourself, and they're just like it's you just all you do is masturbate from like 11 to 15. It's just a masturbation fest, and I'm like, so what do you guys do? Just hold it in all day? Are you like raging on the inside? No. Like, yeah, you that? wouldn't. You probably don't hold it in all day. Probably do it a couple times a day at that age. At, that's what I'm saying, though. But are you doing it at school? Because you're at school for eight hours. Are you no, doing, it's pa- probably like that. directly when you get home. I gotta poop. <laughs> <laughs> and then before you go to bed. I gotta poop. I gotta poop. And then when you wake up. <laughs> um, that if you get your period, it means you're pregnant. Nope. Like young girls get their first period and they're like, fuck, I'm pregnant. So, that that's would not be right, so ladies. much it's not, to go through at such a young age. Yeah, I didn't get my period until I was like 14, 13 or 14. I lied about getting my period because a lot of my friends had it. And I was like, me too. And I'd wear pads to school and nothing was happening. <laughs> I just wanted to be like, I have a pad. Look at this one. Look at this pad. <laughs> this wow, this one looks just like yours. Weird. It's weird. almost like we I have one both too. have a period. Yeah, all my friends got their period before I did. And I was like, I want to have a period. And then I got one. And I was like, fuck this. It was horrible. Period stuck. Um, and the last one is that you're supposed to stay completely still, still during sex. Um, this isn't Handmaid's Tale. You're supposed to enjoy it. <laughs> like a dead fish. Starfish. That's my favorite position. Just kidding. There's a lot of myths about sex what are some things i've heard growing up when i was growing up this kid on the school bus thought that girls had penises as well and they just came out of your butthole like when you pooped <laughs> like when it was time to sit down it descended and you pooped and peed and then it came back up like you they were just hidden penises <laughs> hidden gems wait yeah your dick comes out of your butthole. Out of your butthole. And it comes, it retracts in. Like, it. <laughs> I have the visual. Okay, okay. <laughs> so when I have to poop. I don't know what he thought. It moves over or what? Well, I didn't ask. I said, <laughs> yeah. that's not true. And that was that. My son calls my vagina my girl wiener. He doesn't see my vagina. Let me clear that up. But. He knows he'll that. He'll say, like, mom doesn't have a wiener. She has a girl wiener. Mm. Oh my. All right. That's fine. Okay, that. That's fine. 
Or what's the what other one? Uh, if you masturbate too much, you'll go blind. <laughs> and there's that joke where they're like, who said that? <laughs> no? I've never heard that. Yeah. We don't get the same... That's true. Masturbation talks that y'all get. Right, that's probably true. Women are shamed for masturbating. Because I think the stereotype is that women can get sex whenever they want it, so why would you masturbate? Because people and have men are like, means. I can't fuck enough, and that's why they're masturbating all the time. Stop shaming it. Yeah, we should talk about it more. Yeah. Not right now, and not, not us, right now. But yeah, <laughs> and not us, and but not just us, everybody but else. Everyone else should talk about. Really get into that with your friends. Get into it deep with yourself. Mwah. Okay. A joke. I uh, found another one that. Okay. Okay. While I was looking though, there was this one that said this guy got kicked off the flight out of the airport because he wouldn't stop doing pull-ups. What a douche. First of all, bro. <laughs> Relax. 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 Okay. We see your pecs. We see your lats. They look great. Settle down. We're just trying to make it to Florida or Cali. No one's trying to see that. Sir, I just have to go to um, Portland today. This is a red eye flight. It's a business trip, real quick. Relax. Yeah, I hate overly worky outy people. Yeah, do like, your thing, but unless you're a personal trainer, I don't want to see you at the gym every day on Instagram. I believe you. Who are you doing this for? Agreed. Like, and also you can't be working out that hard if you're taking all this time to set up your phone. Just work out. Just go. I believe you. You're fine. Like, knock it out. You know. Show us the results. Yeah. Not the process. Yeah, I don't need the process. It's stupid. And, in, and again, unless you're a trainer, I don't care how you work out. And when I say results, I mean like a before and then like a four or five month after. Not a this week, next week. Yeah, stupid. But also your own page, your own thing. Yeah, you do what you want, but I don't want to see it, so stop <laughs> I it. I don't want you to do so, what you want. <laughs> I just don't. I hate working out at the gym. I think it's because when I was younger, I worked at a gym and my dad was a trainer. So I would work out like with him at the gym all the time. And I just hate it. And especially now, like... I just, I'm too insecure. I don't want to be fucking... I don't want people to see me sweat. Like, I'm not going to do it as much. Like, I would rather sweat in the privacy of my own home and go hard than be in the gym and be like... And mine was like, I was always afraid that, like, other guys were judging on how much I can't lift. Yeah, I don't want that pressure. And so I just felt uncomfortable in trying to go in there and... Um, yeah. Plus, I don't hate the way I look yet. I right. feel like when I look at myself, I'm like... There's some areas, but we're doing okay. We're doing okay. And when I look at myself in the mirror and I go, I hate you, then I'll go back to the gym. But I don't feel that way yet, you know? And that's good. Yeah. I'm all right naked. It's not great. <laughs> it's not great. It's like good, not great, you know? Like there are some spots, but I'm not mad at it. So, and with clothes on, I'm, I can tuck everything in where it's supposed to go. So I'm good, you know? And my husband likes it, so whatever. That's key. Whatever. So, this family is seeking a photographer to travel with them and get, like, wherever they go. And you're... Where are they going? That's $100,000. Um, wait, 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 wait. Okay, the trip is $100,000? The job pays $100,000. Okay. destinations on the itinerary so far include Mardi, Mardi Gras. They're going to go to the Grand Prix. And deep sea diving in Maldives. Okay. Basically, you get paid to adventure and occasionally snap a photo with your subjects making sunset heart hands. How rich are you? Yeah. That you're like, I'll give you $100,000 if you just like come take some pics with me. And, and I'm also going to bring you on the vacation. Is it, do they, okay. So if you're the photographer, you're there as like a hired hand. So when they go out to dinner, you don't get to go out to dinner. Like you have to still. Unless like, they want pictures. Yeah, but it's not like they buy you food. It's like you're coming and you're and you're here, and you probably don't get paid till after. I'm saying you're the help, right? No, so like for we're sure. bringing you, and maybe we'll buy your tickets. But like when we get here, you're not hanging out with us. Yeah, you don't get to like hang out with us. Even better, when you come here, you're opinion. here to take pictures, and then you get the fuck. So like, go to your hotel room. Yeah, and what if they want pictures all the time? hundred thousand dollars yeah how long is the trip uh, i don't know but it says three destinations how much of my time am i giving i mean i'm doing it for a hundred thousand dollars i'm doing it for sure but a few months oh a few months 
Oh my god. No, they're never mind. I don't know. Sunday. For a hundred thousand dollars? What are you gonna be with them for seven years for a hundred thousand dollars? No, but a year wouldn't be outrageous. A year? A year for with a strangers. six figure, yeah, it'd be like a six figure income. You're yeah. traveling and taking pictures. I will do that. I will do that. Max Simon, I'm putting my application in now, even though I do have hand tremors. So, <laughs> this is Max taking your pictures. Not a single one will come out clear, but the heart will be you there. Guys, just hold on. Thank no, you. guys, stand still. If you guys could move, then I think if we're all moving, <laughs> everybody move. We'll get the shot. We can we can snag it. No problem. Max, I don't. I'm sorry. I love him. I'm not making fun of his hand tremors. It's just funny when he tries to take a picture of you. It's like so. Or like I try to do like a video of like a nice view. Like we went to (laughs) L.A. and I'm like taking this video over these buildings and it's just like. (laughs) <laughs> like, it's like Cloverfield. Don't mind the hurricane that passed by during this video. Yeah, isn't that the movie Cloverfield? That's like the that's like the actual camera. I got motion sickness mm-hmm. in that movie. Or um, the Blair Witch. <clears throat> Ooh. Did you know that bees ejaculate themselves to death when it gets too hot out? Not a bad way to go. <laughs> Ejaculate themselves to death. I don't know what that means. Ejaculate. Oh, just... we know what it means. No, I'm saying though, like, are they masturbating and coming, or are they just coming nonstop? Just... <laughs> <laughs> like, what is happening? When the weather is hot, they just get hot and bothered, and they're like, "Fuck!" and they just can't stop coming. There was an episode of Grey's Anatomy where this woman didn't stop coming, and I was like, "Do you remember um, Thousand so Ways to Die?" Mm-hmm. There was this girl, and she... Died from coming? She fell down the stairs and died and broke her neck. But because it was a thousand ways to die, they had to t- make it sexual. So she had a disease where any touch or, like, any slight vibration would send her over the edge. And someone, like, bumped into her as she was walking up the stairs and just like, oh, and, like, fell down the stairs <laughs> and died. Professional cavewoman survives on a freezer full of roadkill. How do you become a professional cave woman and and have a freezer entail? full of roadkill? What does a cave woman entail? Like, what are the requirements of a cave woman? You must being a live woman in a cave. and live in a cave. So as long as you're a cave woman and you live in a cave, or you're a woman and you live in a cave, you're automatically a cave woman, or do you have to wear like a necklace made out of teeth? Because I feel like you valid that. question. I feel like if you don't have a necklace made out of teeth, you're not you have a to cave make woman. your clothes and everything. You can't. You have to sleep on a rock. You. Ha- yeah. Yeah. Yep. Like a slab of yeah. Rock. Yeah. 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 Not like a boulder, but like no, a slab, like a of, rock. slab of rock. Like one that was by the riverbed and was washed mm-hmm. a lot. And you Smooth. were like, yeah. Um, you also have to be very built. Like I need you to look like the sister from uh, Encanto, the super strong one. Keep going. <laughs> Keep going. That's her. I need you to look like that. Um, Also, you must have the biggest bush on the planet Earth. Cave women have hairy pussies. And a unibrow. It's a requirement. Can't grow a unibrow? If you're a cave girl and you have a landing strip, unacceptable. How do you shave in a cave? You don't. You don't shave in a cave, do you? You have armpit hair, you have a unibrow, you have any type of facial hair that may come through. I feel like... one giant dread. No. You could have... You could just your hair. You could have, like, just crazy hair. It doesn't have to be matty, like, matted. But she's eating roadkill. I don't like that. I found my dream job. Perfect job. Russian town hires cat chief to attend to strays. A cat chief. So this lady just goes around and feeds the strays and loves make? the strays. What's her salary? Uh, $85 a month <laughs> to keep the cats fed and happy. $85 a month. That puts you at, I can't do math. $85 a month? Twenty dollars a week. That's one thousand dollars. I'm rich. My um, son tells his friends at school that we're rich because he has a thousand dollars. And I told him to stop telling people that, and he won't. So 
Mom, but we're rich. We have a thousand dollars. No, not we have a thousand dollars. He has a thousand dollars. Oh, he's richer than me. His dad showed him his bank account, and he won't let it go. <laughs> it's embarrassing. <laughs> oh, I like oh that. my rich <laughs> son. <laughs> <laughs> Runaway pig lured home by deputies Doritos. Who got the trail of Doritos for the pig? And the pig followed him, followed him back home. I love that. What kind of Doritos? <laughs> what are these questions? These are, this is not a paid sponsorship, but... It just says Dorito chips. Well, that's stupid. I bet they were Cool Ranch. Unsure exactly how to catch the pig. The oh, officers no. tried to lure the pig rather than grab it. If you saw a One trail of Doritos on the ground, would you follow it? No. I learning would. kids. I would follow it. And then if they were targeting kids, I'd be a superhero and I'd fuck them up. And if they weren't targeting... Because you know what I who I feel like leaves a Dorito trail? White boys. I feel like they'd leave a Dorito trail and be like, <laughs> At the end, we're going to put a keg and see who gets it. Like, I feel like that's a thing that like a drunken group of white boys it's would do. It's a smart idea. So, we should leave a food trail... Someday, somewhere, and see if someone follows it. Like a food scavenger hunt. And it should be very delicious things. Like we'll just leave a whole pizza somewhere. And like another foot down, we'll leave a tray of cookies. And then another foot down, we'll leave a bunch of french fries. And then they're like nachos. And they're like, what is going on? Oh my, oh my god. I'd follow a food trail. A food trail, yeah, I'd probably check that out. What if they were like covered... You're walking down the sidewalk in Chicago and you see a stand with a covered silver thing. Boom. Delicious. And then you see another one like two blocks down. Are I'm you- checking it out. Yeah, right. You'd keep going. It's like when you go to Meyer on a Sunday and it's sample day and you're like, you see one oh sample God. tray and you look down and there's another sample tray and you're going to that sample tray. I'm like, wow. Yes, I would. Thank you. Me and my mom used to go to Costco on Sundays and act a fool. Okay. <laughs> I'm just telling you right now. I was like, yes, 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 yes. Give me that sample. Yes. Ugh. Oh, okay. Bank of America ATM mistakenly dispenses $100 bills instead of tens. Are you going to tell them no, or are you walking absolutely away? Not. These are the dumbest questions ever. Anytime, so every time I see a, an article about some... What if they contact you, though, and they're like, hey, yo. I'm like, it wasn't me. It wasn't me. I didn't do that. I have no idea what you're talking about. I know what you're talking about. about. I only have $10 I don't bills. even answer numbers. I don't know how they're going to contact me. That's true. My voicemail box is full. They can't leave me a message. Good luck. <laughs> Good luck. Good luck, too, yeah. No. I saw a article recently about a guy who found like a shit ton of coke on the beach and uh he it was like traces from like Escobar or or uh I don't know. He just like found a bunch of fucking I don't know. Found it do wasn't it? traces from Escobar, that's stupid, that doesn't even make sense. But he found way a lot of coke on the beach. Way a lot of way a lot of it. Like enough to make you a uh kingpin. Like, it wasn't, like, a kilo. Like, it was, like, a... And he kept it? No, he turned it in like a fucking idiot. Yeah, I would... I remember it was enough to fit in your car. Like, you could have fit it in your car. It was, like, 60 pounds or some shit like that. Like, you could have gotten that. It was a lot, but you could have gotten it in a vehicle. It's not like it was, a re- you know... I mean, right. it washed up on the beach, so how big could it be? But it was... I don't know. Stupid. People are stupid. If I come up like that, I'm not telling anyone and I'm not giving it back. Have you ever had something like that happen to you? Like find a big chunk find of money Find like something? a bunch of money or find anything good? No. Um, one time... <laughs> Things like that don't happen to me. When I still lived in Chicago, Bria and I were at a gas station and when we pulled up at the pump and we got out, this is back when people sold weed still in like those little tiny Ziploc bags. Mm-hmm. Like, and there was like... Wow. Jeez, wow. LB. <laughs> there was like, um, like 10, 15, like little baggies of weed on the ground. And I was like, somebody must have had them like in their car, or, like on their lap or something and like gotten up out of the car and they were just scattered all right. They're good weed too. I was like, fuck yeah, I'm taking this shit. We call those ground scores. Who calls them that? Uh, festival goers. Oh. Uh, if you like... 
way if everybody leaves and then you go through with a flashlight and scope out the ground and stuff you'll find iphones you'll find drugs you'll find hats a bunch of cool stuff hats. bunch of bunch of free stuff um i think this is an important one that we need to bring to the, the light of the world rhinestone vest wearing pigeon reunited with his family his human family or his pigeon family? His pigeon. Her, sorry. Her name's Olive. Olive the pigeon. And uh, her parents dressed her up in a rhinestone vest and she flew away. But she's home now. And I think we just... What an inspiring story. We discussed on the last episode that pigeons aren't even real. So have fun with your pigeon drum. And her stupid vest. And her stupid vest. <laughs> People who dress their animals too much, I don't like that. Like, my dog has two coats for the wintertime. He wears them sometimes, and he's adorable, yes. But, like, people have full closets for their animals. Weird. Man who demolished landmark house ordered to build replica. How pissed would you be once you finally got that place cleared out, and then they're like, you legally have to build the exact same one right now? I would be the worst builder. I would be like, I don't know how to do this, guys. I didn't even take pictures. I don't even know what it looks like anymore. I don't know. I'd be like, I'm pretty sure there was a pool right there in the last one. Like, is this a Phillips? Do I need a Phillips? <laughs> is this a Philip? Who's Philip? In Florida, people are fighting for frozen iguana insurance. And you might ask yourself, what the fuck is that? Well, in Florida, they have giant iguana lizards that just live free. And because it's been getting cold because of global warming, they're freezing in trees and on top of things, and then they're falling on people's cars and fucking them up. So my question is, frozen iguana hits your car, do you call your insurance company? Absolutely. I feel like that's God. If a frozen iguana hits your car and fucks it up, you did something. A frozen iguana hits your car, that's something that we'd never even think of. Mm -mm. Also, bullshit was invented in Florida. Florida's always doing some wild shit. Who has, you have frozen iguanas raining down on you from the sky. Why would you live there? My old farmhouse growing up and um, during the day you could hang out on the porch, but during the night the ceilings of the porch were just in, uh, spiders. Like um, The big ones in the summertime that leave the big webs? Yeah, mm -hmm. the brown we have ones. A, we have a spider um, here that we met last summer and she made a web and lived on our front porch and we named her Charlotte and she was lovely and she disappeared. I wonder if she'll come when back. When I went to Chicago, and no one was so sad. I we used to have a one-eyed toad that would come around. Like, every summer, it must have lived around the area. But I don't know how long they live, so... A one-eyed toad? Yeah, we called her What's Big Bertha. of a toad? I mean, I say uh, every summer, but it was, like, when we were kids, just a couple. I would also just like to point out that immediately following the frozen iguana um, video article, the next one is, Florida man shuts crossbow in his pants. So Florida is not where you want to be. Toads can live uh, 10 to 15 years. Wow. So maybe it was longer, but yeah. South Florida puppy snatching turns into wild shootout. It's not Cinderella's castle, but this Florida fortress near Disney World could be yours. An alligator bit a drone in the Florida Everglades, its mouth filled with smoke. A sign on Miami Highway flashed arrest Fauci. What'd you call me? Among the customers inside a U.S. post office in Florida, this seven-foot alligator. All of that bullshit. That was just, I only skipped one article. Six articles in a row all about Florida. Florida man says he killed an aggressive iguana and he claimed stand your ground defense. I'm doing iguana, iguana defense classes every Thursday at the Y. Missing woman found naked inside Florida storm drain. How she got there? Bizarre. I want to go. I want to know. Let's find out. Let's get into it. What this were you doing in there, girl? What were you doing in there? And where were your clothes at? And why were you naked? Oh, I'm not paying. Subscribe. Our subscription's free, though, if you want to subscribe to us. <laughs> you shake your face so fast. <laughs> you know when little kids do that thing? When they're <laughs> pissed, <laughs> and they go... Shake really hard. Yeah. I have the best video ever of Little Man doing that when he was. And he had sunglasses on upside down, so it makes it 100 times better. And no shirt on. He's like. Ah! My favorite thing. 
Yeah. So all these articles are about Florida. So I think the moral of the story is don't go to Florida. People are insane down there. Like the guy, you're like a driver's ed uh, teacher with the brake. I feel like when we're shooting. Oh, this you got podcast, the side by brake. While we're shooting this podcast, I feel like you're constantly like <clears throat> break. Skip. Break. You're doing <clears throat> you're doing mom breaks with your feet. Oh my god, driving with your mom is the worst. I know, because I'm like, mom, mom, I'm 27, I can do it. You know how to drive. My son tells me instructions I'm the, on how to drive all the time. I'm becoming the worst passenger because I'm like, I have zero patience once I'm in the car. You get in that car, you turn it on, you get your music, and you go. And when I say get your music, I mean you've got 30 seconds to find that song. What if and then you're need, moving. No, sometimes you need a minute. No, to find shuffle song. and drive. No. Sometimes, sometimes I'm in the car. Like if it's summer and it's nice out and I want to roll the windows down, I might want to be in the mood for like a summer jam. Or like some like vibey shit. Depends on how far I'm going. Or I might want to feel like a drug dealer. I'm not sitting in that car longer than 30 seconds before I'm out of moving. But you don't shuffle and go. That's asinine. <laughs> That's asinine. <laughs> no. Need- no, I'm a big... I'm a, When I listen to music, I'm big on listening to the same five songs for like a month and then mm-hmm. switching. So mm-hmm. I just mm-hmm. always go to my recently added and just hit start. And then it goes through all my stuff. I saw an article the other day that said that people who watch the same, watching the same TV shows repeatedly is a sign of a mental disorder. So I have a mental disorder. Hi, I watch Gilmore Girls every night before I go to bed. I watch The Office, Parks and Recreation, or Seinfeld every night before. That's like my comfort bedtime show, one of those. Gilmore Girls, Avatar Last Airbender was big for me for a while too. Never Been Kissed, I watched that movie like literally hundreds of times since I was a young child. When you got your, well, okay. When I got my first apartment, I did not get cable. And there was not, like, streaming services for real Yeah, yet. we didn't have that shit in Big Green for a while. So. DVD Central. We had a lot of DVD. Or I had one DVD, and it was the trifecta of Friday. Friday yeah. 1, Friday 2, Friday 3. And I watched one of the Fridays every single day of my life for, like, a year. So I know all of those movies by heart. Your grandma's house, though. Sopranos. Every single DVD you could think of. They had okay, so many like DVDs. DVDs. And, like, and they had the bunk bed that they had. It had like a stairway. We're that not going to get on national YouTube and talk about me being in a bunk bed over the age of 18. I didn't say that you were in that bunk bed. Well, I was, and now we're ending this conversation. I slept in that bunk bed, the top bunk, dude. The we were like, we were, we, we were the coolest losers ever at 18 and 19, okay? Bunk bed chilling at grandma's. Whatever. Don't regret it. I don't regret it, but I don't want to talk about my bunk bed. Okay, well, what I was going to talk about was how that there's DVDs in the stair drawers. Every drawer was like packed full those with... were Aries DVDs you're not even talking about Stacy's whole wall of DVDs in her bedroom well it's probably because I was always trying to watch Meet the Robinsons and he had that I in the love stair. Meet the Robinsons and Nolan does not like it <gasps> it's one of my favorites he used to like it when he was a little bit younger and now I'm like let's watch Meet the Robinsons and he's like no it's so cool you know what is another good one Sherman and Mr. Peabody yeah it's a good I've, I've only seen that once in like like last it year it makes me cry every Single is that why he always talks about having a big science lab? Is because Meet the Robinsons? I don't know. Hmm. Little man has a secret underground science lab. He says it's under his bed and his bed's on the floor. He doesn't even have one under the bed. That would literally be right here. Yeah. Are we in a science lab? <laughs> we walk away this mirror like... <laughs> Spy Kids edition. Do you remember the beginning of Spy Kids where the parents are like at their vanities and all of a sudden like... It all turns into computers. You know what my favorite part of Dreamed. Spy Kids was? The microwave. Yeah, where you, you just put just the thing in and it's like, it's like burger Big and Mac. fries. Yep. That was the coolest thing ever. I and wanted to be a Spy Kids so badly. So bad. And I used to get so mad at Carmen for making fun of Junie's blisters and peeing his pants. Yeah. I used to be like, don't you talk about his fucking warts and don't you talk about him peeing his pants, you evil big sister bitch. You're supposed to protect him. You are a very rare form of big sister, though. No. Yes. I have a lot of friends that have a little sibling, and they're savages. Or I know a lot of the little siblings. They're close in age. That's why. Red, you're, no, you're right. Me and that, right. Are too you're, far apart. You're, you're a rare breed of big sister. Yeah. You're like... Don't fuck 
with my brother. I will pave the road. Yeah, I am not going to let anybody... I won't even let my mom talk about him. When she says anything, I'm like, shut up. Hey! Don't talk about him. Fucking kill you. Only I get to talk about him. And I only say wonderful things because he's a wonderful young man. I love you so much, Aries. You're my favorite person ever. Doing great things. He's Bart Simpson and I'm Lisa. That's my my contact photo for him. Yes, that's so true. (laughs) He is. I'm Lisa. Well. If you could be any cartoon character, who would it be? Go. Danny Phantom. I knew you were going to say Danny Phantom. He's so cool. I'm a ghost. Now I'm not. Now I'm a ghost again. (laughs) I would be the hot black girl from Asshole by Ginger. With the high ponytail? Yes! <laughs> yeah. Yes, she was such a bitch. I would be her so hard. I'd be Ginger. You know what cartoon show. character I am in real life? La Cienega from Proud Family. You want to know why? Because she's cute and then she has secret huge feet. They come out of nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> That's me. Cute, but guess what? Nine and a half. <laughs> Yikes! La Cienega. <laughs> Yikes! Well, all the girl, the three girls that were just like blue, and <laughs> they were like the bully. The sisters. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> they were my favorite. And if we're gonna be honest, they get all the credit for the whole. Pay up, bitch. <laughs> yeah. Run it. <laughs> no doubt. I saw this video the other day. Do you remember that meme where the girl was driving in her car and she's just going about gas money? So, because gas money's so high, they were like, honestly, at this point... <laughs> honestly, at this point... I'm not giving rides. We're not doing that. If you don't have gas money, you're walking. Okay. <laughs> gas is like almost $5. This shit is fucking nuts. You know what, though? I'm a lucky lady, and I'm married, so I never have to pump gas. So, truly, it does not affect me, because I don't even have to see it. I'm just like, is it high? I don't know. Is I it? do that. It is. I can attest that yeah, it is. <laughs> It's very sad out here. Like, my husband's out of town this weekend, and he made sure he filled up the truck before I left. He's before amazing he left, so about I wouldn't that. wouldn't have to pump gas. <laughs> like, I was like... Oh. Man, be more like Nolan. Yeah. Pump your girlfriend's gas for the whole week. Fill her up, sir. Be, be a man. Fill her up. Get her card. You don't have to, you know, pay for it if you don't want to. Say, hey, give me your card, and then fill it up and say, hey, I filled it up. And she's like, what? I only wanted you to put $20, and how am I going to eat? And he's like, girl, shut up. Love. Love. That's love. One time I was at the gas station and I think we yelled at someone to pump the gas for Ashley and she didn't think that it would work and it did. Like I was, we were probably I'd be like, drunk. No, that's not true. So I'm t- I'd be like, okay, yeah. Yeah. If Bria and Ashley and I pulled up on you at the gas station and we were like, we're drunk, pump our gas. You'd do it. I'd be their best friends yeah. as well. I'd become their I best friends. I got you, friend. girl. I got you. Don't worry about it. What's yeah. up? Where you guys going? Where you been? I feel like in the dudes? summertime, in your girl, and you dress remotely attractively. Like, if you're dressed a little sassy, and there's one other girl in the car with you, you should never have to pump gas ever. As soon as you get out, somebody should be like, y'all need to put gas on? Yup. Mm-hmm. Sure do. And if you live in the city, there's a crackhead within earshot. They will do it for $2. Don't pump gas. It's stupid. And it's journey. For my future man out there, you will be driving. End of story. I hate driving so much. So much. I used to not mind it, but now I hate hate it. it. I hate it so much. I used to be a good driver, and then I became a bad driver at some point. Um, It was like within the last two years. I want my own driver, and if that means I have to live in a trailer house to afford it, because I'm going to be a teacher. Then so be it. Could you imagine my driver dropping me off at the elementary school every day? <laughs> what kind of car? Like a black, all black Lincoln. Like a town car? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's like drops me off. I'm like, thank you. How much do you pay your driver? How much does a driver cost? Well, I mean, I'm going to be really poor, so probably. How much does a personal driver cost? Here's what I found. If you want to hire a full-time personal... Come on, come on, come on. This is from idriveyourcar.com. So it's probably pretty legit. It will cost between 35000 and one hundred and twenty k a year. Not all drivers are all the same, and not all clients have the same requirements. So I will be driving myself. <laughs> so I'm going to have to drive. Um, it's fine, it's but fine. not pumped, but it is I what it is. Driving. 
I hate decided to move to a different state. That's three hours away and it's one highway the whole way. Super easy peasy. It's fine. Drama queen. Yeah, it's actually not that bad. And the way I drive, I'm hearing like two and a half. Two twenty. Two fifteen. Two. Flat. The silver Malibu with license plate is XQ. <laughs> you should definitely pull him over. He's a danger and a menace to society. He's a danger and a menace to society. He's a danger and a menace to society. Again, guys, this is what we're doing. We're just coming on here and chit-chatting. Like, subscribe, tell your friends. Yep, share it in your group chat and tell everybody you know about it. All right, bye. Bye.